launch. Um, if, if you've, I, you'll be pleased to know, first of all, that I'm not going to speak very long. I'm going to hand over to people far more important than myself to explain this wonderful uh, concept. But if you have ever heard me speak, I usually bang on about the innovations of hardware, whether it be the recipe for babies, the post-it note, the franking machine, uh, the first ever high-rise block, you name it, Harlow invented it. Now, of course, we've got our own community lottery, uh, which is going to massively benefit all of your organisations. Uh, it's a fantastic concept. And if you are wondering uh, how on earth this can possibly work, um, Carol here from Gatherwell is going to talk you through it, and you will be as bamboozled as I was uh, when I first heard about this. So it truly is a fantastic concept. But above all else, it's to help your organisations. That's why this is being done. Uh, and that's why I'm so pleased to see so many of you uh, here this morning, um, because this concept, and I'm sure Carol will say, has been rolled out in, I think, hundreds of places across the country. 144 places across the country, uh, and has been really <coughs> successful in pretty much all of them, uh, in helping good local causes. We've got, I don't know when the, the first prize draw is, but I know we've got some fantastic prizes coming in for it. Um, yeah, I'll go. Carol will cover it all. Yeah, so on that bright note, Thank you again for coming uh, and for participating in this. And I will hand over to the uh, community portfolio holder, John Steers, who did more than everybody. It's fantastic to see so many of you here this morning. Um, I'm uh, John Steer, and I'm the portfolio holder for Communities. And I'd like to welcome you all to the Harlow Community Lottery launch. It's great to see so many of our good causes gathered here today to know more about the lottery, and we hope to sign up to this fantastic youth funding initiative. This comes at a crucial time when the current economic situation and budget pressures are having an impact on funding available for good causes. We recognise and appreciate the essential services our charities, voluntary organisations, and other not-for-profit groups provide for our town and residents. And we are passionate about doing our part to support you with helping to keep these services running, whether that is through the grant aid we provide or initiatives like this that we are launching today. We hope that the money raised by the Harlow Community Lottery is going to make a difference to good causes across the town, such as yours. Our residents will also benefit by choosing which good cause their money goes towards, and they will have the chance to win prize money too. Today, you will have the opportunity to hear all about the new lottery, how it works, and the benefit it will bring to your good cause and our town. So, thank you once again for coming this morning. Which is, which is great. We're doing a lot more than these face to face. I'm going to take you through today a little bit about the background of the lottery, how it works, most importantly, how it's going to work for you guys. Um, I will open up to an, uh, question and answers at the end, so if you think of anything, just hang on and then we'll. Run through. <clears throat> okay, so your Harlow Community Lottery has actually gone live today. So you can Google it now um, and it will take you straight to the lottery page. It's been a process, we've been working with the council for around nine months just to make sure we get everything set up um, and we're good to go. So, a little bit about ourselves I'm from Gatherwell and um, we have actually been around since 2012 and we initially started rolling out lotteries for PTA groups. So if you've got teenagers or high school children, um, you might have come across my school lottery at some point, um, add an email from the school or something like that. In 2015, we were approached by Buckinghamshire, sorry, Elsbury Vale Council um, to start a local lottery that would help people like yourselves um, in the voluntary section to raise money for local good causes. So since 2015, we're now on 140, this will be our 140 lottery that we're ready to launch. Okay, so what we're gonna cover, like I said, we're gonna take you through how it works with people buying the tickets. We'll also just go through the way the ticket sales will, the splitting of the pounds, so how much you guys will get, that will go back to the good causes, prizes, um, how you can sign up, and the support that you get from us at Gather Out. Okay, so how this works for your supporters. So first of all, the members of the public, they can actually go live right now, like we said, to the lottery website. 
They can't actually purchase tickets today, but they can find out a little bit about the lottery and basically the background to it. So you will have your website and on there you can go along and purchase a ticket. All tickets cost a pound and basically when players go on they can have a lucky dip for a pound or they can actually choose their own numbers. So really similar to what you expect from um, a lottery, like the national lottery or postcode. The only difference with a community lottery is you actually get to choose your good call. So what, this is where you guys come in. So when a player actually logs on, they can choose if they like it to go to a local food bank or youth group. So they actually direct their pound, which is quite empowering for the supporter. Because especially if they've got children that play football, they can feel like they're giving back to that local good cause. Now, supporters can pay by direct debit. They can actually set up as a block payment where they can buy a month, three months, six months um, or 12 months um, or like on a recurring payment similar to how you would with Netflix or uh, Amazon. And then winners are notified weekly by email. This is all done by Gatherwell, so we would actually reach out to the winners. At that particular point, they just have to clarify what bank account they would like their winning, uh, prize winnings to go to. We do, at that point, just ask the question, would you like to donate the winnings back to the local, your local children's cause? Um, and it is about 90% of our players choose for that money to go back to their directed good cause. We have had, our top prize is £25,000, um, and we have had one person <laughs> that has actually sent it back. It was a theatre group just outside Kingston, um, and that was a valuable donation that went back. It actually kept the doors open uh, coming out of COVID. So it has happened once, and we'll, uh, we would certainly let you know if it did happen again. Okay, so one of the most important parts that you, you're going to want to know is the splitting of the pound. So for every pound spent, 60 pence goes directly back to you guys. So the way that actually works, 50 pence goes straight to your bank account and 10 pence goes back to Harlow Council. As the operator, those 10 pences go back to them and that is then usually later released in grant funding or an initiative that council um, choose to actually support. But the 50 pences goes back to the di direct to the good causes but 60 pence overall goes back to Harlow and the people of Harlow. There is 18.2, so just shy of 20 pence goes back to prizes. So the prize part is there to build up. Your weekly jackpot is 25,000 pounds for players. Now, if you were to get a jackpot winner on launch in week one, it's not to worry, there is no risk to the council. We have what is called a jackpot prize cover. So even if you were to have three or four winners, it is covered by Gatherwell, it is our risk. Then you've got just over 20p that goes to running costs. So there's an element of VAT in there, um, and the remaining 18.2 pence is there for the setup of the payment, telephone lines, and the general maintenance and running of the website. Okay, this is our prices. So it is a weekly draw, uh, and it's £25,000 if you were lucky enough to match the six numbers. Now it is a sequence, so it's, and it's not exactly the same as the National Lottery, you do have to match between one and nine in sequence. So you could have all six if you're lucky enough, or you could have the first five, last five, and you can see the prizes go down um, with that. Now the odds of winning a prize are one in 50, so that's your three free tickets. Um, and you've got a one in a million chance of getting the top prize. The odds are slightly better than your bigger lotteries, so you've got more chance of winning um, just a general prize with it being the one in 50. The little writing there, if you can't make it out, it is just explaining about that jackpot prize cover that there's no risk um, to the council. And you can have more than one jackpot winner, so we could have three, four, five, um, there isn't a rollover or anything like that. Every week it just goes back to the 25,000. Okay, so one of the things we do, so this is actually supported by Gatherwell. So throughout the year, we actually will put up <coughs> seasonal prizes. And the reason we do that, 
you guys have gone out to your supporters and you've asked for them to come along to buy the ticket. So at the end of every quarter, we have a super draw. And we actually provide a prize, so it could be um, a tech bundle, you'll see there, um, a holiday voucher. The last one we did was IKEA vouchers, and that was super popular. Everybody was wanting to do a bit of home improvement. Um, but what will happen is we will let you know that a super draw is coming up. Your supporters will be entered for free, so you can actually message out to them to say, thanks very much for supporting us. Because of that, we're going to enter you into another prize. Um, and that happens four times a year, and it is seasonal as well. So we try all the marketing information and tools we give you. We try and tailor it around, if it's Christmas or summer, you're more likely to get holiday vouchers. It also enables you to sort of remarket and to reach out to new supporters um, and say, if you are you know, willing to sign up on this next draw, you also get free entry into our super draw. Now, for this particular launch, Harlow have been kind enough to provide um, a super draw prize. So on the first draw, we will have a guaranteed winner from Harlow, and they are actually going to be in receipt of, there is an iPad, I do know that, and there's also, <coughs> oh fabulous, it's pre-match meal for four ahead of the first 15 home match for Harlow Rugby. So that will actually be marketed, you'll get leaflets to send out to your supporters. So everybody that signs up will get free entry to that draw as well. When you have a winner, which will be one of, your, one of your supporters will win, um, if the supporter or the player is happy to, you can share that information on your social media. And it just helps to sort of build um, sort of the knowledge that the lottery is there. And it's good to have a hometown winner as well. Okay, so this is how it works for you guys. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to actually visit the site. So if you go online, um, you can see it's Harlow Community Lottery. All the links are going to be provided <coughs> and we'll have direct links to how you apply to join as well. So applying to join is really straightforward. Uh, there's an online application. It takes about five minutes for you to fill in. It's going to ask for information, contact details, a little bit about the work you do. Um, there is an approval process, so we work with the council just to make sure that the council are aware of the work you do. The main criteria is the work you do has to be within Harlow and it has to benefit people in Harlow. So there's not too much that you have to provide within that approval period. And it's usually about half a day for us to come back and say, yeah, the minute you're approved, you go online. So at that point, you will actually, with our developers, they will give you your own page on the lottery website. So all of your page, basically, you can message it how you like, a little bit of a bio as to what you do. Um, it will also list the supporters as they sign up. So you can keep track and you'll be able to see who's signing up, who's buying tickets, which is lovely. But well, the most important thing at that point is to shout about it, to let people know um, that you're online and you're looking to raise money. Then every month, one of the greatest things our good causes come back. We have just shy of 40,000 that we support throughout the UK now. We actually make the payments monthly. So you will be able to see on your web page exactly how many tickets you've sold and exactly how much money is going to be returned to you. And that is a monthly payment, it's usually the second week of the month. There is no sort of boundaries as to what that money is spent on, you know, it is a trust process, so you guys can invest it. Um, we've had some people online that have needed building work, so they've put a little ticker on to say that they're actually saving up. You can have an actual target of how much you, you want to raise. Um, but those payments are directly paid to you on a monthly basis into your nominated bank account. Now this is to give you a bit of an idea. <coughs> My eyes aren't great, but that looks a little bit <laughs> it's difficult to see. That will give you an idea of what your actual page will look like. So you can see from here, we keep all the branding very local. So all of the imagery is going to be things that people of Harlow would know. It will have your logo. Um, and then with this three-legged cat charity, what they've done, they've actually set themselves a target 
of what they're wanting to actually raise. Down the side, you can see the draw dates, last week's um, draw results. There's also a little ticker on there which will show you supporters. As long as the supporters opt in to share their details, you'll be able to see when somebody does sign up. A um, little bit of bio uh, about what you guys do, and then social media links. So you'll be able to, people will be able to go into the page and straight back to your social media. Now, that is administrated by you, so you just provide the information you want, and we would make sure it's updated. <coughs> okay, so just to give you an idea of the marketing materials, not everybody is marketing, um, and a lot of the work you guys do, you want to be getting on with that rather than spending hours trying to design leaflets and such. So we do that for you. So every eight weeks, you will have access to bespoke marketing materials. So they all have your logo on, along with the lottery logo. It will have a little bit of an explanation about the lottery, about how it works, how they can sign up. And um, we use QR codes. So if somebody was to receive that, all of our marketing materials are downloadable as well. So even if you want to leaflet drop, people can just click on the QR code and it takes it to your page. So it doesn't take it generally to the lottery, it goes specifically to your, uh, your actual good cause page. All the search terms are on there so people can look up the lottery. Um, and I would say every quarter we do new seasonal, but every now and again, if there's gonna be a super draw, you'll have access to a full range. So it's not going to be just the same old information going out. There's Facebook banners, Twitter banners. Um, we do have a project manager. So if you were stuck or you needed a little bit of advice with someone on the end of the phone that can just um, give you a bit of advice with that. Now, we've had a technical issue. So unfortunately, we can't just run through the little animation. So the actual website itself, as we've mentioned earlier, we have 145 lotteries throughout the UK partnered with councils in the main. So it's tried and tested, it's powered by our Gabalel engine, but there are things that we need to make sure as a responsible lottery management company um, that we're doing. So all of the website will be fully PCI compliant because we're going to take payments. Then there's things like compliance around accessibility. So there's certain colours and combinations for people with visual impairments, but that is dealt with by Gadwell. So you never need to worry about marketing materials. It is something that we would do prior to releasing it to you. The website itself has a 99% uptime. It's monitored 24 seven, and it's available to use across your phone, uh, laptop, tablet. So it is viewable on all of your devices. Okay, as well as access online, there are going to be people maybe that aren't as confident sort of interacting with the website. So you do have a dedicated telephone number, um, which is on the lottery website, and it's a Harlow number, and it will be answered as the Harlow Community Lottery. That is manned by our team. So if there was somebody that prefers to make a payment over the phone, we can guide them through that process. It is a remote lottery, so you can't buy tickets and put them in, in a shop or something like that. It would be online, or we have our customer service team that can actually take you through. You also have an option to get um, specific updates to your social media. So if it is something that you did want to opt in, we can actually just send those updates directly to your social media page. I would say about 70% of good courses like to do it themselves. Um, but it is an option there, you know, if you wanted to, if you're not sort of over the social media, it will go in our diary and we will regularly update that as well. Okay, so Harlow District Council um, it is an initiative that's been brought from Harlow and um, partnered with ourselves. So basically what the council's role is in this, first of all, as a lottery operator, they need to be licensed by the Gambling Commission. So that process is all set up and, and we're good to go there. Then some central marketing. So the first thing was to reach out to you guys uh, and invite you here today and the general promotion of the lottery, just to shout about it so that we get support from 
uh, the general public. Now, there is overall scheme, uh, scheme administration, so there's some sort of backroom stuff around um, the financial side. We actually provide all the financial reporting, um, and Harlow Council just needs to have somebody in place that will just approve um, the lottery returns at the end of every quarter. But that is all generated on the dashboard on the web page. Now, with the council receiving ten pence um, from every pound ticket sale, um, that central fund also just needs a clear and transparent process um, of what they intend to do with that. So many of our councils tend to set the lottery to launch it, and then after a six month or a twelve month period, um, they would usually speak with good causes and um, the voluntary sector, and it could be extra grant funding that they put out or an initiative, but it is usually something that is benefiting um, directly to the local community. Okay, so that, this is just a little, I mentioned earlier about Aylesbury Vale. So that was our very first um, community lottery that was launched in 2015. So you can see here, when we initially launched, there'd been many, many um, cutbacks to the voluntary and the community sector. So they were looking at different ways to try um, and sort of help uh, the good causes to, to raise funds rather than seasonally ongoing throughout the year. Um, so when we actually first started the Aylesbury Vale Lottery, there was 40 good causes that signed up and they have been going now, um, getting on for eight years, nine years. Uh, they currently have 350 good causes that are signed up um, and they also have just grown massively. So they're now actually the Buckinghamshire Lottery. So you can see it started with Aylesbury Vale and then all the surrounding areas came in and to give us the Buckinghamshire Lottery that we have today. So these are just a couple of case studies and um, just about how some of our longest standing local good causes engaged with the lottery um, and how they actually, because uh, the first question that we usually get asked is, well, how can we sell? What do we do? How can we sort of reach our supporters? So you can see from here, Great Rick Hill Cricket Club, they joined with Aylesbury Vale and Buckinghamshire back in 2015. Um, their goal at the time, they wanted to reinvest um, in junior uh, coaching. Uh, that included equipment, uniforms and such. So it was quite a small um, community and they actually offered a free drink to everyone at the bar. Um, so that does seem a bit costly. So everyone who signed up got a free drink. But if you look, they've been going on for almost nine years now. Um, and they're regularly raising just shy of £1,500 a year. Um, and that programme for junior coaching has been able to be invested in every year, which is perfect. Now, Carers Books, when they actually signed up with us, this is a regional um, office for, for Carers UK. And they wanted to obviously engage the local community, but the resource wasn't massive for those guys and they didn't have a lot of technical um, knowledge of what to do with social media. So all they did was to add the lottery link to the bottom of all their emails that would go out to supporters. And just from that very small thing, by including that, they regularly sell 54 tickets weekly. Um, them supporters have stayed with them for the last eight, nine years. And again, they are raising about just shy of 1,500 pounds a year. And then Brill Sports and Social Club, this was a community initiative, very small village, and they just leaflet dropped uh, the village. And I think there was something like 70 houses, and they managed to sign up 37 um, supporters uh, who regularly uh, support the Sports and Social Club. It's sort of the hub of the community. Um, and it was basically just leaflet dropping two or three times a year. Okay. So Basically, the work that Gatherwell do, um, we, we work with the councils in order to set up the website, to get the lottery, to do all the things behind the scenes. But our commitment to the good causes is to basically give you the tools to be able to reach supporters and to have that regular income coming through. So first of all, we give you your own dedicated web page. Um, so we gave you an example before, it will completely have the look and the feel of the local area 
and it will have all of your logos, history, um, any fundraising, anything specific you want to raise money for. So that will all be included and that is provided by us. Your marketing materials are regularly updated, co-branded with your course. So it is just a matter of downloading them. They're available for printing if you do want to leaflet drop. Uh, but there's a variety of ways that you can sort of use them to reach out. Your dashboard is fantastic. On your actual da dashboard, you'll have an administrator, and so you can choose somebody in your organisation, and then they will be able to see how many tickets are sold, how much has been raised. It actually forecasts as well, so it will give you an idea based on this many ticket sales, you're likely to raise this um, in the first year. And that is available for financial reports. So if you did have committee members or somebody that wanted to know how the lottery going, especially for matched um, grants, if you need to provide evidence of your fundraising, you can actually at any time download a full financial report which will show exactly how much you've raised and over whatever time period you specify. As soon as you do sign up, you receive a welcome pack. So your welcome pack talks you through how to sign up, um, <laughs> how to sign up um, and it has a marketing timeline in there for you as well so we will say okay on week one send this out week three send this out <laughs> i think it's telling me my time's running out now um, and then you get update um, emails come through all the time we share best practice so if someone's doing really well in uh, Harlow, we would reach out to them and say, do you want to share anything with everybody else and you know, how you're doing or how you've raised this much? So we encourage that because I think if you share a bit of best practice, um, it just is better for everybody to know. It could be something really small, like adding the link to the bottom of your emails like we saw. Um, and then on top of that, you see 50 pence in every pound that comes back from your ticket sales. Okay, the challenge we set out to you guys. So we usually say to sell 20 tickets within the first four weeks of the course going live. Um, to be honest, you can set as big a challenge as you like for that. But our average is to say, going from the marketing and the information we give, give you, if you do follow the process, 20 tickets should be more than manageable. We also require a staffed email address. So the reason we need this is just if there's any changes to banking, and we need to reach out, just make sure whoever has that email address, if it is an admin address, um, that it is regularly checked so that it doesn't hold up anything with payments. Uh, and then use your dashboard. So keep an eye on your performance. Um, there's tools within that where you can make forecasts and the more time you spend on it, getting to know how it works, the more effective it'll be for you. Uh, and then reach out to us. You're gonna have a project manager who's available. Uh, at the end of the phone or my email uh, and just shout about it so get out to supporters let them know that it's available for them to sort of join in so obviously we've got your good cause launch today and the next key date is going to be the 20th of february so that is when players can go and have a look online at the moment uh, but they can't actually purchase tickets till the 20th of february and then from the 20th of february to the 9th of march it's a push to get ticket sales and we have our first draw that goes live on the 9th of March. So between the 20th and the 9th, you're going to get full support from our team. Um, we'll guide you through the process, but the sooner you sign up, the sooner you can start shouting about it and letting people know. And that's everything. Was there, do you want to put your hand up if there's questions? Um,